Destruction down is G9 and RRQ. Box Gaming is going to go out in ninth place. We get six kills already for RRQ. This is unreal. They are absolutely just destroying everything in these lobbies these last two days. I, yeah. Unreal. I can't even describe how well they're playing. Well, it's kind of like a bulldozer, you know? They just roll on through and they just flatten everything in front of them. And that's exactly what's happening here, except it is PUBG Mobile. And uh, no team can really stand up, up to them. And it's not even like they're playing passively. They're not playing overly aggressive, but anything that they run into, they are taking out, uh, especially here on day number two. Kisker, I don't know if he's moved. He did move. He moved I to the other side. He went this from a, yeah. yeah. He went from the east side to the west side of this mountain. But RQ is going to see him. He's got to be super careful now. He's going to have to try to back out. He is going to get caught and down. That is going to be top esports in seventh place. I'm not sure if they as well gained enough points to find the grand finals. I don't think so. But now wow. let's turn our attention over to Elementrix, Poopoo Man, and the others. Oh, G9. You are doing such a good job. Ooh, man, taking some damage there. He's got to be careful. Kazel's going to open the door. They might try to pop some shots, and he's going to be able to get around the wall, potentially get the heal. Mystic might go down to the circle, just oh. able to run ahead of it. Are you kidding me? He's going to just barely survive here. He's going to pick up that first aid. And, uh, and, well, let's see if Ernie can do something here, just shooting down onto the members of Unique as there are four members down there. Oh. One of them is going to get knocked. Make that two as RRQ with the bulldozing does not stop. Yeah, it's Kitsune left for Unique there and Old just trying to get everybody they can. So many players out in the open getting caught by them. But Elementrix did find this compound early on and has successfully defended it and are continuing to find a nice spot inside of the circle. Finally, RRQ is going to have to move. And you can't just jump down. It's too far. And look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. D2E. He's got to go around further to the side. Now they're going to be pretty skilled. And, yep, yeah, Senior tried it. He risked it. It's just a bit too far. I'm not sure if D2E is going to be able to get that heal off. No, he is going to go down to the zone as well. G9 and Ernie are going to be the last two to survive from the mountaintop. And well, Ernie is going to go down here as well as Elementrix once again showing up here on this map of Sanhok. Going to take out another member in Ernie, but G9 going to strike back against Unique. He's trying to pre-fire, see yeah. if he can get something lucky, but nope, he is going to go down to the circle, and Unique goes out in fourth place. Yeah, Downey will go right now. Elementrix in the best spot. It looks like it's three of their members, and then we got Maven, and we have G9, so... Uh, pretty interesting spot here. Elementrix in the best position to pick up that chicken. As four kills total here for the Red Canids. They'd love to pick up second place. I think that would bring them into the second uh, part. And G9 is just going to be pummeled here by the rest of Elementrix. And that's exactly what Maven wanted to see. I love that play from Elementrix. Just get up and over that wall. They knew exactly where G9 is. Finish him off. Maxon gets one. Can he get another? Can he do it? No, it is going to be Elementrix who takes the final game for Group B. Nicely done, Max, and actually able to pick up another kill for the